All right, SOBs, we're out here uh, walking out towards the box by my house. Still haven't got my truck fixed, so I'm not going too far. And uh, But I'm supposed to fix it tomorrow, so that, that's a good thing. Uh, be able to uh, venture a little further. But uh, it's been super warm out, except for yesterday it was a cooler day, and today's a little cooler. It's only like 82 degrees today. So hopefully, a little bit of cooler weather will uh, turn the bite back on a little bit, because it's it's been hot. It's just been hot for weeks i feel like two three weeks it's been in the 90s it's crazy but uh brought some stuff to try to get on the pickerel some stuff to try to get on some catfish so uh let's get out here and see how we can do let's get to it all right guys gonna try the inline spinner in this little uh first spot i usually hit give a couple casts out see if i can have any luck but i'm gonna try to get back towards the back and uh Try to catch some catfish as well. All right, guys, got one. Oh, he threw it right at the edge. I'm gonna have to put a new spinner on. I think the hook of this thing is pretty dull, but uh, at least we got our bite. All right, guys, gonna try right over here for about 10, 15 minutes with the catfish pole. Um, same as usual, egg sinker, barrel swivel, hook, and uh, this is chicken breast. And this had time I used uh, cherry Kool Aid mainly because it's cheaper to buy a thing of Kool Aid than it is to buy a bunch of jello. And uh, again, soaked it in garlic. So we'll see if we can get anything bright middle of the day in the little trench that's in the middle here. We'll uh, set this down and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna make an attempt to toss a spinner in the last few minutes I have out here on this spot with the uh, bait pole but uh maybe pretty difficult to get through I might get it though all right guys in the back section I'm gonna try this uh catfish pole for you know 10-15 minutes over here it looks like the water is super low back here so we'll hope that anything will hit just plop it right there in front of us See what happens. All right, standing over next to the bait pole, we'll uh, see if I can get a pickerel to bite in here. All right, guys, we are hooked up. Oh, oh no. All right, guys. Well, I hope you saw him, but he just, you know, swam right on off with uh, my damn spinner. That was a brand new spinner, too. Damn. Time to tie on a new one. All right, guys. Real sad we lost that fish, but I'm um, uh, tied on another new spinner I got. It's pretty much the same thing. It's a Mepsal Gear one. The, the blade is uh, multicolor instead of silver. And the feathers in the back have a little white to them. That's the only difference. So, hopefully, we will uh, hook into another one. In fact, hopefully, we'll hook into the same damn one and get my spinner back, right? Hope he's that dumb. All right, right at the edge, guys. He came up right at the last second and grabbed it. As I was taking it out of the water, we uh, we got one. Whoa there, bud. To calm down, I'll get the hook out of you. All right, guys, there he is, little pickerel. He doesn't even have his full pattern and everything yet. Cool looking little guy. He pooped all over me, that's for sure. All right, we'll get him back. All right, guys, we got something on this catfish rod. I think it's going to be a turtle, though, by how heavy this is. It's got to be, right? Maybe? I can't tell what this is, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a turtle. Oh, yeah. Here we go, guys. Take a look at this guy. Whoo-wee! Let me get this up as high as I can. Ooh. 
You guys see him? He's huge. All right. Let's see if we can take care of this guy semi nicely. Come here, dude. Oh, and there it went. Okay, cool. Cool. He has my hook, but he was going to have my hook anyway. But uh, there he went. You guys saw that was a big old snapping turtle. Cool. All right, guys. There we go. Oh, damn it. Every freaking one today. I hope you guys saw that, but he bit off that spinner. I'm going to run out of spinners before this day's over. That's what's going to freaking happen. Damn, that sucks. All right, guys. Hopefully this guy doesn't bite my damn spinner off. All right, we're, we got him. We got this one, guys. We got him. All right, guys, here he goes. Back in. All right, guys, I'll retie my spinner on because that guy uh, did a little number on my line. So it's always good to do that when you're uh, fishing for anything that has teeth. All right, guys. Oh, had one for a second. Might have been the same one. Stuck up in the freaking bushes now. All right, guys, got it back. But as I was saying, you should always, when you uh, catch something that's toothy or, or run into any snags or anything like that, check your line. If it's got any abrasion marks on it, or it looks like it's not 100% strong, cut that part away. Because uh, you don't want to be losing lures, you don't want to be losing big fish either, you know? Alright guys, hooked up. Oh, that was a big one. He, uh bit the damn lure off oh that sucks i don't even know how many spinners i have left guys these guys are are killing me today all right sops we've been out here for a few hours we've had a little bit of luck um i don't know we've had three or four fish bite off our damn inline spinners but that's okay you know it's all part of the game sometimes and uh we've landed uh, i don't know a few a few pickerel nothing too giant but we landed a few of them and we also got that big snapping turtle. I'm glad I didn't have to get too close to that guy because uh, he was pretty big. He could have uh, bit my damn finger off. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Drop a comment and tell me the biggest snapping turtle you've ever hooked into. Subscribe and you'll see all my new stuff coming out. Until next time, guys. Peace.